Jackson Yu and uh, Jiang Grey Goose, they will pivot off in that area. And the star for Cade Cowell on the left-hand side is a far more attacking lineup with those guys in the lineup. At the moment, Paul Marie's doing a good job there. And more often than not, he's been the starter at that position. Tor Nathan, who tried to steer it on frame and a little bit wide of the mark. And now Yarborough comfortable just to slowly get things back going for Colorado. There's Kate Cowell stepping in front of Warner. There's Kate on the run. Kate's going to put a shot on, and it hits the post. Comes back for Espinoza. Oh, well, and stepped in and won the loose pass, and then it was almost so casual by Yarbrough as if he was going wide, and it didn't. It hit the post, and that was obviously going to beat the goalkeeper. Well worked. And the connection not made. Now it's Espinoza. There's Kate Cal trying to get in behind. Out comes Yarbrough. Now backpedaling. Kate Cal. Does he get the shot off? Not quite. A Bovisi turned aside. I think this is what Kate Cowell's looking for all night, and he should do better. He's got that opportunity one-on-one -on -one with his speed and strength. He needs to get a shot off there, AP, and it's well followed up by Obobese, who certainly seems to have a little bit more life in him at the start of the second half. Very unlucky on that deflect. Let's go. Well done. Jeremy Obobese getting in behind. Obobese! Jeremy's shot went wide. I think everybody in PayPal Park thought this one was going to go in from a bogus. He just goes to the right of Yarbrough's goal. Great quick thinking initially by Marcus Lopez to take the quick free kick. Good work by KCAL. A little bit of a fortunate break for the ball to roll to a bogus. And then I thought he was going to score and he probably should have. Spinoza. Headed down. And it's the goal they deserved with the way they started this second half on the front foot. They've been probing a little bit of fortune in it from Nathan, but it's well worked from the Quakes. And it's the ball that comes in with pace by Espinosa, right onto the right foot of Nathan. And it's one nothing Quakes. His third goal is an earthquake, his first of the season, as he got the half step on Austin Trusty. And to the delight of the home crowd and his teammates, the Quakes are on top. Marcos Lopez will recover. Barrios and Calvo. Does it get through? Jesse Sardis turned aside. And JT Marzikowski was there. And to keep the Quakes in the game, you knew that JT is going to come up with a big save. And that could be the one that swings things just back on the momentum side to the Earthquakes. This game's got really open and real stretched. And that's a dangerous part of the body that's going to be used in those kind of scenarios. But I thought his arm was a little bit away from his body as well. Some space for Gregosh. Diving to his right. Yarbrough has been fantastic tonight for Colorado. Well struck by Jan Gregus. That's what he likes to do from those areas. He's had a good height for William Yarbrough. That's one. Gregus. Can he connect again for San Jose? Now it's headed to the corner. Yarbrough is there. And just always a flat cross with pace. It's that man Nathan again with the flick. And that's a really good save on the bouncing ball by Yarbrough. And there was a trying to make every inch count. Mesquita to the right, turned aside. I don't know if that would have fouled the back of the net. And Colorado will have the corner. Referee Penso should have seen that because we'll take it to the corner. This one out. And Torrey Penso signals the end of this match. The Earthquakes on the goal from Nathan.